Hello there, it's uh, Friday morning and I've been down editing some bits and pieces of Alex Belfield and I got a bit bored. So I've decided to do a little something for all you on YouTube and explain this is my new life. Okay, I'm not ill but I've decided that I'm going to get a little bit fitter. And Tracy, Dottie as she's known here in the studios, uh, my PA, has decided that we should all eat crumpets. No, it's not that good. And she goes and buys these crumpets, and we're now connoisseurs of crumpets. And what do you have on yours, Jake? Butter and jam. Butter and jam on a crumpet. Um, whiplash downstairs as uh, Marmite. You like Marmite? I hate Marmite. He hates Marmite. Me? Just butter on it. Anyway, I can't keep eating them, so I'm going to have this yoghurt now. And I can't work out why it's called Greek yoghurt. Greek yoghurt. It's not from Greece. It's probably from... Dartford or somewhere. So why isn't there French yoghurt and Spanish yoghurt and Scandinavian yoghurt and uh, whatever? Anyway, it, it doesn't taste of anything. If you want to feel out what COVID's like, eat this shit. Right, OK, let's talk about the news, what's going on. There's been some devastating stuff, including Richard Littlejohn. I have really bad news about Richard. I love Richard Littlejohn. He's great. And he stuck up for me when not a lot of people did during all that shit back then. Richard Littlejohn has, uh, did a piece about a police superintendent who's now the boss of the police confederation or something, saying that the police should all work at home and he took the piss. Uh, two days later, he got a speeding ticket through the post. Ho, ho, ho. He said he was going downhill in his electric car and it got faster on its own. He never saw the van. But he has a very valid point, which he says in the mail today. Why does it take two hours for the coppers to turn up? and uh, to, to look at a burglary, something that's really dangerous, rather than doing 37 in the 30 with some arsehole who parked a van in a lay-by to stop someone who's breaking down a course, someone could be killed because there's a fucking police van there taking pictures. It's ridiculous. So, Richard, I do feel fear. I've got lots of points. And I just, I just got rid of I told you, I've now... Yoghurt as well. I've now got electric car. It's like a milk... If you hear a milk float coming along, I'm going to get a recording of bottles rattling. You know, like, they know when a milk van used to turn up in the old days? You old people remember all that? So I've, I've now hit the dark side, but uh, lots of points, and I've got to watch them. 75,000 miles I did in that car in, in, a, in a year... In, in three years. And I was banned for three months, and we had a lockdown for a year and a half as well. So that tells you how many miles I do. So let's have a little look as well. Piers Morgan is sticking up for um, Will Smith for slapping that bloke. Well, he would, wouldn't he, Piers? He'd stick up for anything as long as it got him a column. Um, but Will Smith, I think, if they're going to take his Oscar away, then I don't think they should. If you're a best actor or you're not the best actor, I can't... This is along the lines of uh, Kevin Spacey, who is without a doubt my favourite actor. And because he's touched someone's arse or made uh, innuendo remarks, he's a gay man. Uh, and it doesn't mean to say that all gay men do that, but he's a gay man and he tries it on him. We think, I, I, I'd like him to try it on with me. I wouldn't have slapped him. You know, what, what's the, you know, so they've, they've, they've cancelled, uh, I'm getting confused here. So they've cancelled um, Kevin Spacey. What did they put in that yoghurt? Uh, they've cancelled Kevin Spacey because he's made uh, advances towards men. And now they're going to cancel Will Smith because he slapped Chris Rock in the face. Well, they shouldn't cancel Will Smith because of that. I don't believe in this cancel culture. What they should do, let him keep the Oscar, but nick him for assault. He assaulted someone in broad daylight. Eh? And he he's basically given the OK to hit somebody. Isn't that great? Well, let's move on. Talking of hitting someone, this is... Uh, been an, uh, thank heavens, a couple of bits of good news coming, but we've got to talk about this Russian missile striking uh, a railway station. I mean, they don't just go off. They don't just go wild and go off and by chance land in a station killing all the people that are fleeing. Someone's got to answer for this. I don't know how they're going to do it, but someone's got to answer. Send Will Smith, that's what I say. The good news is there's some chap, an Albanian chap that lived here, an Albanian national, has now been sentenced to life in prison for killing poor Sabina Nasa, that uh, young lady that was killed in Kibruk, where I grew up, so whenever it's near home. So we're thinking, my mum used to say, there's nothing but bad news, Cameron. Nothing but bad news. Well, there's some good news today, and we're going to have a street party here. Richard Osman, right, he has quit. He has quit 
pointless and pointless celebrities. If there's any a better named, a better named TV program for someone who is a pointless celebrity is that Richard Osman. I can't even look at him. I can't bear him. I, he has the looks of Herman Munster, doesn't he? He's Herman Munster's love child. And he has the arrogance of a Pink Floyd band member. You'd know what I mean if you ever met uh, one of them. And he's gone off. He's leaving. Thank God. I hate that. Because sometimes... You, at the six o'clock news in my house comes on and it's on ITV, so you get the local news. I'm not a lover of local news, I need the proper news first. So I switch over to ITV and I always switch over and it's not quite six o'clock and I get the last minutes of them two idiots, that Alexander bloke with his face in the jelly and that other awful, fucking, dreadful, arrogant, horrible, unfunny fucking man. And it's good night from me and I'd like to say thank you and good night from me, good night. Oh. It's the worst programme on earth. So they're going and we're having a street party. So that's a little bit of update on a Friday morning. I feel sick now already. Don't forget to get your... Where's my bit of paper? Shit. I've lost my bit of paper, Jake. Hang on a minute. Put my thinking cap on. No, oh, but... It's 01202. What is it, Jake? Quick. Double eight, double five, double six. Oh one two oh two, double eight, double five, double six. Well remembered. I think it could be wrong. It could be double six, double five, double eight, or any order. Just dial any number you want. But look up, look up, and you can do this online. Go to the Tivoli Theatre in Wimborne and book up tickets to come and see left, right, and centre. We're putting it together this morning. Be great. I know what my first question will be if I was in the audience. Should cyclists pay tax? <laughs> That'll get them going. Come and see us on the 25th of May, and it's on the 3rd or 4th. A quick little plug for what's going on. On Sunday night, you will be seeing Freddie Starr, Live and Dangerous, where I have made the decision to leave in a bit that the snowflakes will absolutely melt about. Ha, ha, ha. And the following week over that, we're back to Alex Belfield, face to face, and he'll be talking to the wonderful Francine Lewis. <sighs> wonderful girl. Two of my favourites. Uh, and Alex. Okay then, see you later folks.